Hey guys, I hope you're all having a very good day and welcome to a new video on my channel. I don't even know where to start this video because I am so, so, so excited for it and I'm so happy and so proud and I cannot wait to be finally sharing this with you, something that I've been working on for months and now finally became reality. I think the intro of this video already gave it away, but today I'm going to talk about my new Supplied by Lily stationery collection. So right now my third Supplied by Lily stationery collection is available to pre-order at suppliedbylily.com and it's also international shipping so anyone in the world can order my stationery line. And I'm just so excited to be finally sharing with you all the products that I've been working on for such a long time. And it was so hard to keep everything a secret for such a long time. This year, you will not only find stationery for students in my web shop, but also for all my career girls and working girls and girls that are focused on their lifestyle and personal goal planning. Also, every Supplied by Lily order will give you access to our private Supplied by Lily Facebook group where we just have a very fun community of passionate girls that are already working or studying and we share our life tips, study tips, and it's just such a nice community. In this video, I'm going to show you all the new products I launched for Supplied by Lily, but also how to use them properly. So if you are curious about that, give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. I'm first going to start off with the desk planners. Right now we have four different student desk planners and one limited edition lifestyle desk planner that is focused on career, personal growth and lifestyle planning. So the student desk planner comes in this new print and oh my god, how gorgeous is this? This is the luxurious amethyst print. Then we also have the original luxurious marble print, which is still one of my favorites, especially because all the desk planners also have some rose gold detailing. And you guys know, I love my marble and rose gold. Then there's also an updated luxurious blush floral print. This is the luxurious floral print from previous year, and it's still available. It has more of a grayish background. So this one is still available and you can still use it because it has no dates all the planners don't have any dates so you can just use them all year round it's also a little bit cheaper than this one that's because this student desk planner has a lot of new extras that this one doesn't have so um, yeah this one is also still available and then there's also the lifestyle desk planner in this beautiful rose gold lily pattern that I'm completely obsessed with it shines way brighter than my highlighter I mean oh my gosh look at that and I also love the blush pink combination. So that's everything from the outside, but it is actually the inside that counts. So the core of the desk planner is the weekly overview. This is my third year using a student desk planner and I can safely say that it really works and it's very efficient to plan your weeks like this. On the bottom page, you'll find all the days of the week without any dates. And then on top of the desk planner, you have to-do lists for work and study. You have an overview of all your exams and deadlines, so you always have them in your weekly overview. More often than not, I'm only focusing on my weekly overview, on my weekly schedule, and I forget about my long haul or long-term deadlines that I only have like in a couple months. And then when the week of the deadline is finally here, I all of a sudden realize that the deadline or the exam is here. With this space, you're able to write the exam date and then what the exam is or the deadline is, and you always have it in your weekly overview so you don't forget it. Then next to it, you have a little inspirational quote. There are 52 different ones because there are 52 weekly overviews. And then there's a space that says, do not forget, where you can just write little things like, I don't know, pick up your dry cleaning or do groceries. Then the second kind of core or heart of the desk planner is the monthly overview. It comes with 12 months worth of monthly overviews. And again, it has no dates. And why I added this is because it gives you a good overview of what you have to do in a month. Here you can write the name of the month and then you have Monday up until Sunday here. And in every little corner, you will find a little spot where you can write the date of that day. I personally love to have a monthly overview to, you know, keep track of meetings that I have, of deadlines that I have, and also like things like 
hairdresser appointment. And now we're going to talk about more of the new stuff. So this is called the yearly overview. It has again all the months of the year from January to December and then the amount of days uh, in every month. And down below you'll find a row where you can write some notes, a graduation party, I don't know. Put a little cross or circle around the date 15 and then say for example graduated or you know last exam or wedding or birthday things like that that's why i added the yearly overview so you also have like a really you know sleek and organized overview of your year and then there's also a semester overview and in this semester overview you can write down all your courses that you have every semester because especially if you are doing a lot of courses or maybe you're a double degree student it can be a little bit hard to you know remember all the courses that you have especially if you you know have to get a certain amount of credits every year to graduate this space gives you the opportunity to write the course, when you have it and when it ends, the amount of credits it has and then the grade that you got. So you have like a good overview of all your courses, all your grades and the amount of credits that you already did and you still have to do. And now we're going to talk about my favorite page. So this is called the exam planner. It's actually kind of a written version of my study routine video. I know a lot of you guys love my study routine video, but I still get a lot of questions about my study routine. And if you're wondering about that, this planner is literally the number one tool to study kind of like I do. And hopefully you'll get the same good grades as I did. So how it works is that it has two rows that say week one up until week 14. And these weeks symbolize the study material weeks that you have. When I prepare myself for exams, I always like to study per week of study material because I think it gives you a really good chunk of study material that you can study in like a certain study session. So in every week, you find a little to-do list with a checkbox that says lectures, readings, outline and review. So first of all, when I start studying for exams, I always rewatch my lectures if that's possible or read my lecture notes. If I did that for week one, I'll put a little check. Then I head over and do my readings. So I reread my readings or sometimes I read a part that I've skipped and haven't done yet. And if I did that for week one, I put a little check. After that, I make an overview. You guys know I love my outlining. It really helps me to remember everything. So if I did that for week one, I put a little check. And then after that, the last check is review. I always like to reread my outlines and make sure that I memorized everything that I actually written down. So if you did that, you know that you finished studying for week one and you can head over to week two and you can do exactly the same thing up until week 14. So this exam planner will not only give you a very good overview of everything that you already did, but also a good overview of everything that you still have to do. And personally, this just gives me such a calming feeling if I have everything under control of what I already know and what I still have to do. So that's why I added this exam planner. And of course, I had to do the same thing for papers as well, because you guys know I love my papers. I mostly focused on writing papers because I was doing the research master in law. And I know a lot of you guys struggle with starting writing papers on time. So the first thing that the paper planner starts with is the paper topic. So I know not every professor has an actual due date where you have to hand in the paper topic, but I personally think that is really good to do. So you can also set a personal due date for yourself. After I thought of the paper topic, I always start with my outline. That means that I think of the structure of my essay. So I think about the paragraphs and the chapters, and sometimes I also already write the introduction. And then after that, you have the first draft and then the final draft. So this gives you a very good overview of how far you are with your paper as well. And hopefully this will encourage you to not start too late writing your papers. Because I know we all tend to do that, but you know, let's change for the better this upcoming school year. And last but not least, the page that I want to talk about is this page. First of all, it starts with a little personal introduction slash motivational story um, from me to you guys. And then down below, you'll find the achievement plan. So I know how it feels to have these huge goals that seem so unrealistic. And you'll be thinking like, how do I even start achieving this? 
Well, this achievement plan helps you achieve your plans. So first of all, it has some space to write down your actual goals. And then next to it, it says action steps. Those action steps require you to break up your huge unrealistic goal into actual realistic action steps. So if you have a huge dream, you have to break up that dream into actual action steps that will make your huge dream seem more realistic. So this is pretty much everything that you will find in any of the student desk planners. There are still a couple of pages that I didn't show you, but I also kind of want to make it a surprise for everyone that orders. So now it's time for the lifestyle planner. So this lifestyle planner has also a pretty similar weekly overview. However, it's not student or study related. So up top, it has space for to-do list, then for deadlines, because you know, we working girls also have deadlines for work. Um, then it has some space to write down notes and ideas and then it has an inspirational quote and also the do not forget part. So this desk planner also has the monthly and the yearly overview and here is where it really becomes different. One of the questions I get a lot from you guys is how I'm able to afford everything that I do. Now I quickly want to say that I'm not rich, I don't come from a rich family, I'm an only child and I was raised by a single immigrant mom, so I really have a different background than that. One of the things that really helped me to be able to save more and you know to be able to afford some nice things is by being very aware of my finances and spending them smartly. And that is why I created this finances overview. Now this planner comes with 12 finances overviews, so for every month. Up top, you'll have a space to write all your expenses and down below, you have space to write your income and there's also space to reflect on your finances. So you can write down what you budgeted for your expenses, what your actual expenses were and the difference. And writing all this down, so writing down how much you spent on Uber rides, how much you spent on going to restaurants, how much you spend on shopping, things like that, writing them all down makes you so much more aware of your actual expenses. And when you're aware of your finances, you are also going to be smarter because you're like, okay, I'm spending way too much money on this coffee. Let me make this coffee at home because it's way cheaper. Things like that. That's why I think it's very important that this planner has a finances overview. Another topic that I'm very passionate about is health. This overview is a meal planner overview. Now I wanted to add something like this because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I am so tired and I'm like, what do I eat? I have literally no idea. So that's why I wanted to create this space where you can write down all your dishes and recipes for breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks, the ingredients that you need, and then also the amount of calories. Now I don't encourage you guys to go calorie counting like crazy, but I recently started to be more aware of my calorie intake and it really helped me become more healthy. So I'm not saying that you should count all your calories, but just becoming aware of, for example, certain products having more calories than you may thought is really good for you. So I don't want you to change your lifestyle into something that it isn't. I just wanna make your lifestyle a better version of what it already is, if that makes sense. Then I also have this grocery list because I usually have quite similar groceries, if that makes sense. I usually buy quite similar items every week and there will be like one or two differences, like new products that I wanna try out. It's quite nice to have a grocery list also in your planner. So, you know, you always have it with you and you won't forget those important things like, I don't know, buying olive oil or salt, which is super annoying to forget. <laughs> then there's another spread I'm super passionate about. I feel like I say it about every page, but I made this with so much love and so much excitement that I'm just passionate about anything. So this is the self-love routine. And I know a lot of you guys are very like into my videos because I inspire you to work harder and to be productive and motivated, which I am so thankful for and I'm so happy about. But I also want to inspire you guys to take a break because I think it is so important that we guys also have some self-love time and some treat yourself moments because I personally think 
to be truly productive. So that's why I have the self-love routine. It's a checklist that you can use if you need some inspiration for self-love routine ideas. I just think it's very important, so that's why I wanted to add it. Another thing that I wanted to add is this my daily routine schedule. Now, aside from my study routines, I know you guys love my routines in general. And I think one of the reasons why is because it kind of motivates you guys to create a routine for yourself because it can be quite hard to create a very productive routine and stick to it. That's why I wanted to create this routine schedule that will help you create one of those morning routines or evening routines like I have too. It has space to write your routine down for spring, summer, fall and winter. And then you can schedule everything that you want to do in a day per hour. So it's an hourly schedule. However, I was very particular about starting my day at 5 a.m. and ending it at 2 a.m. Because I know a lot of you guys are morning persons, you are already working out at 5 a.m. Or you're night owls like me, you can be working till 1 or 2 a.m. So I wanted to create this daily routine schedule with a possibility for you guys to really adjust it to your kind of productive hours, if that makes sense. And not just like the typical 9 to 5 hours, if that makes sense. Last but not least, I also have the personal growth planner and this personal growth planner helps you not only to set your goals but to also reflect on your goal setting so it has goals for career life self personal and happiness so you can write them down here then it says three months later six months later and 12 months later so this overview actually forces you to not only reflect on your goals at the end of the year like we all do which is already kind of a little bit too late because the year already has passed but after three months, six months and 12 months. So this way you can really keep track of your progress and think about the things you're doing right and think about the things you're doing wrong. So that's everything in the lifestyle planner. The other items that I'm going to show you are not like, they don't need a lot of explanation like this one does in the student desk planner. So the next item I want to talk about is the A4 Spiral Notebook. Now the A4 Spiral Notebook comes in four different prints. This is the luxurious marble print and I think it is super pretty. Then there's also the luxurious blush floral print. For comparison, this is the luxurious floral print. This one is also still available, so you can also choose to buy both of them in a set. And then you probably have my favorite, which is the luxurious amethyst print. So on the inside, every A4 spiral notebook has a different quote, and then it has space to write down your subject. So it can be school related, or if you're just making notes for work, you can write it down here. Then the date, and then also the page number, because especially for studying, I always like to make my outlines in a notebook. And then after I was done, I would tear out the pages and then I would staple them. Uh, but then it was really practical if I was able to number them. And now I'm going to talk about a completely new product, which is the A5 Spiral Notebooks. Now, a lot of you guys wanted me to create a smaller notebook version for days when you don't want to carry a big bag with you or you already have like a lot of heavy books and you want something lighter. They're just super cute and travel friendly and I think they look so adorable. So they come in three different prints. They come in luxurious amethyst, luxurious blush floral and luxurious marble. And the inside is completely the same with the subject, date, and page number and then it also has a quote so I personally think that these are super cute and I cannot wait to start using them and carry them around with me everywhere and the last product that I want to talk about is the supplied by Lily to-do list and I call this the most extra to-do list out there this to-do list is only available in luxurious floral so on the left side it has space to write down your name and then here you find hundreds these are hundreds to-do lists so you can definitely you know use them for a long time so in my opinion this is the most extra to-do list because it looks so pretty but also because it's super practical because it is actually a mini schedule slash plan and to-do list in one 
first of all you can write down the date so for what day the to-do list is and then it's actually categorized in subjects so in work study or other to-dos but also in priority so in things you must do today should do today and could do today this way you don't have a long list of all these to do's that you have to do the last things that i wanted to say is that i really made sure that all the collections matched perfectly these are all the luxurious amethyst prints and they look so beautiful together if you want to have a matching desk like i always do um, so you can buy the amethyst bundle together for a discounted price then you can also go for all the luxurious blush floral items which also look so so beautiful in your interior and of course you can also go for the classic the original luxurious marble print however when i made these sets i was really picky about making all the prints different enough from each other but also complementary so you're able to mix and match the different prints too you could also mix the items like this so for example buy an a4 spiral notebook in luxurious blush floral and then have a marble a5 spiral notebook and then get the amethyst dune and desk planner so i just wanted to show you that all the prints are very different from each other but definitely complementary so it's also super cute to just pick different ones now the last thing that i quickly wanted to talk about is the pricing of my items i know my stationery is not the most affordable stationery out there and i totally agree with anyone that says that However, when I created the stationery line, my goal was never to create the most affordable and cheapest stationery out there. I wanted to create something beautiful and aesthetically pleasing, but also practical. I always went for quality over quantity. And I think a lot of you agree with me because, and why I know this is because first of all, I run this whole company by myself, so I do all the bookkeeping and the administration. So I know and I recognize names of everyone that orders. And what I've noticed is that so many people have reordered their supply ability stationery each year. So, so many people are like third year returning customers. And another thing is that with my stationery line, I received zero returns literally zero no one that ordered from supply by lily has returned their stationery and i think for a web shop that is huge so i hope this shows you that my products are just really good and nice quality and also as i said before i'm doing this all by myself there's no big company backing me up so i'm not able to buy super big amounts of stationery which would mean that i would get a lot of discount on the production price um, I can only buy, you know, limited amounts because I'm not able to buy these huge quantities, which also makes it more expensive. So yeah, guys, that is everything that I wanted to say. Um, I'll put the link right here, supplybelly.com. As I said, shipping is international too, so anyone can order. More info, all the prices, and also some inspiration pages are all on the supplybelly.com website. Also, don't forget to follow me on don't also don't forget to follow me on my supplied by lily instagram because if we hit the 10,000 followers i am planning on doing a little giveaway with supplied by lily stationery and you can also follow my main instagram account which is lilycom and my studygram account which is studying with lily so guys oh my gosh this video ended up being so long again but i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was interesting I'm just super, super excited for the stationary line and I want to thank you all because without your support, this would not be possible and I would not have my own stationary collection. I'm super proud of and I really stand behind. I don't have anything else to say. Have a fucking amazing day. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys have been missing my old outro, so it's back. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.